Okay, small pause. I just want to notify you that this is an update section and that here we're going to cover Android hacking. So in this small section we will cover the exploitation of the Android devices. Now, even though this is considered mobile hacking, compared to what we already covered by now in Metasploit framework and other tools used for payload creation, Android hacking won't be much different than that. As usual, we will craft the payload with our Cal Linux machine and we will try to gain access to an Android device, however, you will see that this isn't quite easy or practical in real life as hacking a Windows machine, for example. Why, you might be asking? Well, you will see, there are many steps that Target has to perform in order to execute our payload, however, if we make them do it somehow, we will have complete access to their Android device. Another thing is, some of you probably won't have an Android device laying around, so to make this accessible to anyone, we will be downloading and creating an Android virtual machine. That's right, we are simulating a mobile phone with this virtual machine. If you actually have an Android device, feel free to use that one instead to test these payloads out, as that would be the best practice since some of the post-exploitation options won't work on a virtual machine. Once we set up our virtual machine, as mentioned, we will deliver the payload to the target, but what is it that we are after on their device besides just having an access to it and being able to control it? Well, we want to, for example, extract all of the contacts from that mobile phone. We could also read the messages as well as send messages from that phone and we can check if the device is rooted and we could, as usual, download and upload files on that system. Those files can be images, applications, and other file types that we want. You can try opening a camera and recording, but most of this stuff we won't be able to do on a virtual machine. However, I will show you how to run those attacks nonetheless, just in case you try gaining access to a real Android device later on. Most of these things we will achieve using our Metasploit framework tool. We will create the payload for Android devices using MSF Venom, and we will catch the connection back with MSF console. All of this stuff we already know, so we will just get straight into that. But besides all of this, there is one more interesting thing that we will learn for the first time, and that is how we can gain access to a target device that is not on our network. That's right, for now we only attacked and exploited targets that are on our own local network. But what if we, for example, want to send our payload to the target in a different country? with different router and different devices on its network. Is it the same process? Well, you will see that it isn't actually quite the same, but it's not a hard process either. You can later apply this for any target whatsoever, whether it runs Windows, Linux or even Android. This will work on all of them in case they are on a different network. Nonetheless, enough of talking and let's get straight into hacking Android devices.